We'll be looking at a problem dealing with percentages and percentage increases. This is a staple subject area on the GMAT. You can definitely expect to see a couple of percentage problems at some point. Here's the problem. In the first half of the 20th century, the population of a particular country increased by 200%. In the second half of the century, the population increased by 300%. What was the percent increase for the 20th century as a whole? Now, how do we attack this particular problem? Let's recall, first of all, our definitions for percentage and percentage increases in particular. If a quantity changes, the percentage increase is simply the difference between the new and old amounts divided by the old amount multiplied by 100. This is the formula we will want to use for this problem. Now then, back to our problem. We actually have two percentage increases here, one from 1900 to 1950 and one from 1950 to 2000. Nevertheless, the problem asks us for one single increase, that from 1900 to 2000. So, before we get ahead of ourselves, let's translate this goal. The percentage increase we want is equal to the difference between the 2000 and 1900 populations divided by the 1900 population times 100. This is what we wish to find. Now, we have two increases over different time periods, so we will have to break the problem up in two before breaking the two parts back together. Thus, we write down the formulas for our respective percentage increases separately. Now, notice that we can solve our first formula to get the 1950 population, P prime, in terms of the 1900 population, P. Notice that although the population in 1950 was 200% greater, it was three times as great. Now that we have P prime in terms of P, moreover, we can substitute 3P in for P prime for our second equation. Then we solve for P prime prime, that is, the population in 2000 in terms of P. It turns out that the population in 2000 was 12 times the population in 1900. But be careful. This does not mean that the percentage increase was simply 1,200. In fact, if we use the proper formula we discussed earlier, plugging in 12p for p prime prime, we will find that the percentage increase from p to p prime prime was only 1,100. But when we consider that tripling the population meant a 200% increase from 1900 to 1950, it makes sense that multiplying the population by 12 is the same as increasing it by 1100%. Think about this pattern. What does it tell us? Believe us when we say that this will be useful elsewhere on the test.